Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 240. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 233 to 245. Hey, in this trick, we're going to see how to create a dynamic range using the offset function. Now, I've done other videos, but this one's going to be slightly different because the data Usually we're adding data, so we have some numbers and then we come over here and we add data to the bottom. So some of the formulas we've used work if you add values to the bottom. But what if you're adding values to the top? So the next value you're going to add here is going to be 21 or something. As soon as you do that, you want a dynamic range to pick that up. So right now there would be, um, there'd be three cells in this dynamic range. As soon as you type a value here, you want four. And then you can use that name for uh, ch charts or functions or, or whatever it might be. Let's see how to do that. I'm actually going to create the formula right here. And then we'll copy and paste it into the, the name manager dialog box. It's easier to see in a cell. So ready? Equals offset. Now there's five arguments to offset. The reference is where do you want to start? So I'm going to click right there, and I'm going to hit my F4 key. We're going to need those dollar signs when we paste it into the name manager, comma. Now here's the whole trick. Uh, n normally we put 0, 0, and then we count with a function like count uh, or count the height and the width, and that gives us our dynamic range. But here, we're going to actually have to do something with the rows. And what rows means is how uh, from this row 20 right here, D20, do you want to subtract any rows and st have a starting position up there or below? Well, we want to actually have a starting position uh, wherever the top of this range is. So right now it would be there. So watch this. We're going to uh, count. And we're going to count the whole column D. There can't be any other um, elements in this column except for the earlier little database. And I'm going to hit the F4 keys because we're going to need those when we paste it. Now, the thing is right here, it's counting. And the way offset would do is if we, um, it would be counting 3 right now. And it would start at 20 and add 3, right? Because it's a positive number, so it would go down to 23. But what we want is to subtract. Because if we're starting in row 20, we need to say how many rows do we subtract to get to our starting point. Well, one, two, three. Well, that will put us there. So then we need to add, oops, control Z. Then we need to add or add one more. Why are we adding? Because right now, this thing right here, if I hit F9, gives us 3 minus 3. So I hit F9. That's not what we want. We want 2 because we're starting here and we want to go 1, 2. Um, subtract to control Z so that's why we have to add one back in now um, I'm gonna hit comma and columns well we're gonna stay right where we are our starting position so I'm gonna put zero comma and then we have uh, how tall is it well now we need to use our count again I'm using count because we have numbers in this column I'm gonna hit the F4 key and then finally, that's the height. That's how tall it is. So for right now, it starts there. It goes up three. It's going to pick up that one. And how uh, tall is it? It's one, two, three. So that count will work. Comma. And what's the width? It's always going to be one in this case, because we only have one column of numbers. Close parentheses. Now I'm going to copy this. Control C. I can hit Enter. It's, it's picking up uh, 25, that one right there. Um, by the way, that's only this. This is actually defining a dynamic range. The only reason why it's showing a value is because it's showing that value right there. You actually, if you move this down here, it'll show you the 12. Hmm, that's pretty weird. But let's. We've copied that formula. Control F3 is name manager in 2007. It's called define names in earlier versions. I'm going to click new. I'm going to call this um, values in column D. <clears throat> and then I'm going to come down here, refers to what? I'm going to highlight that and hit delete and then control V. Control V, okay, that didn't work. I'm going to have to hit click escape and go get it again. Sh copy, control F3. Um, I'm going to have to click uh, new again here. Uh, values in column D. No spaces up there. Highlight this, delete, and then Control-V. And there we go. Click OK. 
Now watch this. Here's a trick in uh, names. You can click this and see, right, if it's getting the dynamic range is working. It looks like it is. I'm going to click uh, close. I'm going to type a value here. I'm going to control F3. And I'm going to check it again here, values in column D. I'm going to click do this little trick. Zoop, and sure enough, it's picking them up. The range is expanding dynamically as we add values to the top. Now, let's see that uh, dynamic name in action here. I'm going to say equals count. And I'm going to hit the F3 key. That's paste name. And I'm going to say values in column. Uh, and there it is. We similarly could have uh, done a uh, sum or something. I'm going to try type another value there. And sure, sure enough, that dynamic range is working. What if we made a chart from this? I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt F1 just to make a default chart. So there it is, a little teeny chart. Um, we don't need that one right there. Um, and let's see if we uh, delete values. Hey, wait a second, they're still there. Delete this value. Hey, but well, how in the world would we put a, a name into a chart like this? Um, I'm going to click on the chart and hit the up arrow keys to cycle through. And you can see right there, um, it's got that original uh, range of values right there, D16 to D20. But what we'd like is to put a uh, name there. Now, there's some big trouble when you start to do this with charts. Um, I'm going to hit uh, delete there, and then I'm going to hit the F3 key. That won't work. So I actually uh, hit escape. I'm actually going to have to go get that name. Um, Control F3. Values in column. Um, I'm going to click edit. That one right there, Control C. Notice that the paste uh, name uh, trick didn't work when we were in the middle of a uh, series function. I'm going to come back over here and use my arrow keys until I see it right there. Now let's see if I can paste this there. Control V, and then Enter. Oh, look! It looks like it it uh, took it there. So now if I um, add a uh, 50 here, sure enough, it's picking it up there. The dynamic range again. And it uh, looks like the uh, number is also picking it up, dynamic range. So there's a couple uh, 50s. All right, we'll see you next trick.